York Knicks jerseys are iconic, but some fans don't like to change the look or the color. Personally for me, I love innovation and creativity. So today, we're going to take a look at some alternate Knicks jerseys and we're going to look at some recolored Knicks jerseys. Let's get started. Alternative Knicks jerseys. So I already know some of you guys are already creeping out and getting scared. Listen, sometimes change is good. Sometimes change is appreciated. We see so many different teams around the league experiment and try different designs, different looks, and yes, different colors. But unfortunately, the New York Knicks don't do that a lot of times, and the fan base seems to hate when any type of orange and blue is missing from an alternate jersey. So today we're going to look at some different alternate jerseys that stay true to the Knicks orange and blue, but are a little bit different than your quote-unquote classical designs. I looked at a lot of the New York Knicks jerseys of the past for these city editions. I didn't really like any of them. I thought they took away from what the Knicks were. It just didn't signal city edition to me. Now take a look at this jersey. The skyline at the bottom automatically speaks to city edition. Then you have the orange and blue. So staying traditional to the orange and blue colors that the New York Knicks are associated with. But you see the number? It's taken out from the middle and is put all the way up on the top right corner over there. And then you get the big but nice looking Knicks logo right in the middle. Some fans really didn't like this jersey look. I personally love it. I think it looks amazing. It's a different approach to jersey making than we've seen before. But we haven't seen innovation and creativity to this level in a very, very long time. I love the way this jersey looks. I love the innovation. I love the fact that we haven't seen anything like it before. I think it works and I think it fits that city edition name. I love this type of jersey. But I heard a lot of people when I shared this jersey on my social media give me a lot of pushback. Some comments I received were that the jersey looked like it was for a child. It's pajamas. You could have got it from the flea market. The middle uh, logo for the Knicks looks ugly. The bottom doesn't look like a skyline, but looks like splattered paint. The comments were endless. Again, when you take something as iconic and beloved as a Knicks jersey and you alter it to this extent, you're going to get a lot of pushback. And that is exactly what happened. But thankfully, we had some people who liked the jersey as well, too. It's not going to be for everybody, but that's why it's an alternative jersey. Some people are going to like it. Some people are going to hate it. But at least you give the fan base the variety to choose what they want to wear to support their team. So give them that choice and give them that freedom. Because at the end of the day, it's not always about the colors, but more so what is across the chest. And predominantly, that's always New York. This next alternative jersey we're going to look at is on RJ Barrett. So if you take a look at this one, it holds true to the classic blue and orange colors that the New York Knicks are associated with. But it goes way more to the blue and a little light on the orange. And I like that. You can tell with the design that it was very, very simplified. They used basic colors for the Knicks. They skewed it way more blue than orange. Clearly, you have orange in the center right there where the Knicks logo is. You see it with the accented orange. So I like that. But the biggest thing about this jersey, the reason that it works so well, is the shape of the jersey. The actual shape of the jersey looks very, very good. The check mark right on top is brilliantly done. And then we have the blue. Simple but powerful. A lot of people may not like all of that blue. They might want to see a little bit more color pop from the orange. And if you're on that side of the fence, I 100% understand that. But for me, this is a very, very simplified approach. It's a beautiful looking jersey. We cannot knock how good these jerseys look. Because it kept it so simple, it just works. Look at the number right in the middle. Not huge, not right in your face like all these other jerseys but subtle and important for where it was placed. 
So the number placement was important. It was done skillfully. You got the Knicks logo right there. Again, done skillfully. The blue does very, very well with the slight orange highlights you see on this jersey. It does very, very well. I love the belt. It looks perfect on RJ in this particular image. These jerseys, I think, would go very well with the fan base. The fan base doesn't like too much change. And I think this jersey offers enough variety to be different but stays true to the simple colors of orange and blue, which speak to the New York Knicks. So I think if you're a fan of the classic Knicks colors, but you don't like too much change, this is a perfect alternative jersey for you. Shout out to Skrillex, the creator and the artist who gave us that great looking jersey we saw on Obi Toppin. I may have photoshopped that jersey on him, but it was Skrillex was the one who created it. So definitely give him a follow and give him a shout out. He does great, beautiful designs. And personally for me, this is one of my favorites. Another shout out goes out to Lance Heisman, who created the RJ Barrett jersey that you just saw. Another great, phenomenal artist. Go ahead and give him a follow. He did great work on this RJ Barrett jersey. Again, if you're a fan of it and you like it, definitely give him a follow because he did some great, great simplified work here. Some fans are split on whether they would buy a jersey from the New York Knicks that has been recolored in some type of way to represent the New York Knicks in a different style, but stay true to that New York Knicks flavor. Some fans appreciate it. Some fans don't. Let's see what you guys think. We're going to be looking at some Knicks recolored jerseys. Now, a lot of the ones you're going to see here today are ones that I personally created. Some fans are split on this. Some fans really like different colored Knicks jerseys and they like the variety. And some fans really hate it and want the Knicks to stay true to the orange and blue and only to that color scheme. So it depends on where you are in terms of if you're going to like these next few jerseys or not. The first one we're going to look at here is a Julius Randle recolored jersey. So if you look at this jersey, it's burnt orange, which they never do. And I never understood why. Burnt orange looks amazing. It's a phenomenal color and it's orange. So you can still use it and stay true to that orange for the Knicks. So beautifully done here with that orange. You have the black right there inside for the numbers and the lettering, which looks really, really nice. They've never done that as well too. And then you have the neon blue around the lettering and the numbers. The reason this is so key is because if that color was any other type of shade of blue, it would get lost in that black. The black is so dominant of a color that if you use another color around the lettering that is not white, it takes away from it or it's harder to see. But if you add a little bit of neon to those accents, you see what happens. It pops a little bit and you're looking at the jersey now, you can clearly see the neon blue parts pop on that orange background and it just works. I don't know why. Maybe it's just me. Maybe because I created it. But I love this color combination. I wish they would release it. Could you imagine this type of color scheme with a hat and some nice kicks? Take my money. Take my money. Please. Love this one. For this next Knicks jersey recolor, we went ahead and used a Josh Hart jersey. So if you look at this one right here, Josh Hart has black, blue, and white with no Orange in sight. I already know what you're saying. Blue Devils. I hear it in my head. I know it's a little bit more toward their colors. But listen here. Okay? Just stay with me for a second. Does it not look good? Does it not look clean? New York across the chest. It's a New York Knicks jersey. I get it. You really want the orange in there. But you know what? I put a little bit of orange in there and it didn't work. It clashed. It was just too much going on. Sometimes simple is best. And here, a little bit of white looked so, so good. I added a little bit of white to the sides, a little bit of white to the collar. You see the letters are very, very nice blue. And then you have a nice, great, amazing black right as the base color. And it just works. These jerseys look so clean and phenomenal with a nice fitted and some nice kicks. Get you a nice little blue shirt. Oh my God, it just works. It works so well too. A lot of fans hate these colors though because again, it's missing the orange. It's missing the orange. I know, I know. God help us all. It misses the orange. It's not a Knicks jersey anymore. 
I like the variety. I love it. I think a lot of fans would appreciate this type of jersey and this type of color scheme. Because again, sometimes they want to represent their team without having to stay true to the blue and orange. Because you can still represent your team and be a New York Knicks fan if it says New York across the chest. And all of these jerseys hold true to that. This next one we're going to look at is with Emmanuel Quickly. Now, I freaking love this one. Charcoal gray for the base color. Orange on top. Oh, my goodness. And then you have a little bit of the blue right there for the Jumpman logo and the number six right there. So you see that little blue pop right there. It stays true to the blue and orange colors to an extent anyways, but it gives you so much more variety to play with. Now you have a charcoal gray base type of jersey color in your arsenal now. And you have the orange right on top of it. And the orange for some reason looks so good with gray. I don't know what it is about that color combination, but orange and gray just work amazing. But I never thought in my wildest dreams that charcoal gray, this gray you're seeing on Emmanuel quickly right now, and that orange would work so beautifully together. Talk about compliment. It's seamless. The fit is amazing. Out of all the jersey recolors you're going to see today, this one is probably near the top for me. If they released it, I would buy four of them tomorrow. That's how committed I am to these type of jersey. They just look so good. I love gray on jerseys, especially this color type of gray, because I've never seen this color of gray anywhere close to a Knicks jersey. And I just love that innovation. For this next Knicks jersey recolor, we went ahead and used Mitchell Robinson. You can see here that this Mitch jersey recolor is so beautiful because it keeps to the black, it keeps the orange, you have the white lettering inside, outlined by the orange accents on a black base, and then you have the blue check and the blue headband. Just to give a little bit of compliment to the original orange and blue Knicks colors. This is just a very simplified but beautiful design. It just works. I'm not sure why they haven't done this type of jersey design before because they've experimented with similar jersey designs to this, but nothing exactly like this. It's like they're scared to not add a lot more blue to a black jersey. They want to make sure it's even enough with the orange and the blue in terms of their space on a jersey. For me, I don't think that's needed. Again, New York across the chest means that you're representing the New York Knicks. So that's what you're doing right there. The only thing different about your jersey is the color. And who cares? If the color looks good and you want to rock it with some nice kicks you got and still represent your team when you go to the garden, do it. This is what variety and alternate jerseys do for you. They give you more options to allow you to represent your team. Who would say no to that? Who wouldn't want that? Variety is a good thing. And the New York Knicks and their management should absolutely think about releasing some more variety in terms of jersey colors. Because I think the fans would absolutely gravitate to it. Most fans, maybe not. But at least a handful of fans would definitely do it. Sometimes all you got to do is give things a chance. You may not like it initially. but If you see something a few times, you may think about it a little differently. So before you kill all these jersey colors, at least try to give them a fair shot. All right, warning and words to the wise here. I am going very, very much against the natural orange and blue Knicks colors. So this is a warning and a spoiler alert. Be prepared. This Quentin Grimes jersey recolor is what I'm talking about when I say be prepared. You can clearly see here we have him in a jump motion, but instead of orange and blue, he has some blue and yellow. And the blue and yellow seem to look a little bit like Warriors colors. Now, maybe it does look like it a little bit, but you know, I think the yellow is a little bit different. I chose this color combination because the blue that he has on the middle of his jersey, it's very, very difficult to find a color that works with that properly, that you can see the blue pop on that jersey. Just because of the shade of blue I chose to go with for the numbers and the lettering. So because of the blue that I chose, I was really stuck with the terms of colors I could use for the base for the jersey. And I was looking and I was looking around and you know what? Time and time again, I landed on yellow. 
And I looked at it today. I'm looking at it again now. I love it. How could you not? It's a good little change. You may not like it because it reminds you too much of Golden State. And if it does, I apologize. But why would you hate against these jerseys? A little bit of blue, a little bit of yellow. Man, I like that, man. I don't know. I... All right, so, uh, so this one I kind of did as a little bit of a nostalgic joke on myself. But um, if you see here, I created this Jalen Brunson jersey recolor in baby blue and yellow. And the reason I said nostalgic is because it reminds me of when Carmelo Anthony was a Denver Nugget. These are basically classic Denver Nugget colors. Baby blue and yellow. And I don't know why, but I, I do like the way this color combination works on Brunson here. It looks very, very good. The only thing I don't like is the middle. So the middle is okay. You can see New York there. But because the yellow is so bright, using a white accent on the letters and numbers doesn't make sense because it makes it harder to see what exactly the middle of the jersey is saying. I think that the white lettering should have probably been orange, similar to the orange on the shorts. I think that would have made it pop a little bit more, but maybe you could have also used the baby blue around that and maybe shaded it a little bit darker. So it's still baby blue, but dark enough that it can show you the yellow inside and it also can make that yellow pop a little bit. But overall, I think the color combination works. I would redesign the middle just a little bit to make it pop a little better. But overall, they complement each other. These colors have always complemented each other. So of course they're gonna work here. You guys are definitely not gonna like this one though. I can only see the comment section now seething with anger as this jersey pops up on your screen. I'm sorry, but I needed to try it out because I need to see it. I wanna see what it looks like. And I don't think it looks bad but I have a feeling I am in the minority there. So um, we'll see what you guys say in the comments. Now, I love these jerseys back in the day. It wasn't exactly like this, but it was similar. As you can clearly see here, we got Jalen Brunson in green and orange. That reminds me so much of the Nate Robinson days. Again, it wasn't the exact same green, and again, it wasn't really that orange. However, that type of jersey, I remember it. And the main reason I remember it is because it was different. It was different. They allowed us to get a variety Knicks jersey at that time. And so many fans gravitated to it because it was different. I'm telling you, the NBA needs to give their fan base, and not only the New York Knicks, but every team, more variety in terms of the colors they have for their fan base to represent the team. Because I think it's a money-making tool. If you build these custom jerseys in different colors and allow fans to represent their teams in any way they want, in any color that they want, you're just going to make more and more money because people are going to buy those different colors. People like that. I know some people do not like to stray away from the traditional, great, amazing colors their team are blessed with and their team is associated with and their team has. But some people, clearly like myself, like to go against the grain a little bit and rock different alternate colors, but still understand that it's about what's on the middle of the jersey, or in this case, the middle of the hat, the Knicks. You can always be a Knicks fan and represent your team with a different color. It doesn't have to be orange and blue. As long as it's the Knicks, that's what counts. That's what matters. This green and orange jersey, for me, is my number one favorite jersey that you've seen today. The green is perfect. It's a beautiful green. Not a nasty Celtic green. It's a very, very nice green. And then the orange comes in. Remember when I said that orange is a very hard color to play with because it's hard to find colors that complement orange? Green complements orange. Very, very much. You can see it here. This jersey just works. It's beautiful. The orange accents on this green-based jersey for the New York Knicks is amazing. It looks phenomenal. It works. The orange pops on it just right, but not too much. And the orange being used here is not too bright. It's subtle enough that it pops, but not too bright that it takes away from the dark tones of the green you have on the jersey. And that's why it works. Because the orange being so dimmed in a way, 
and the green remaining so nice and vibrant in its dark state, together it pops and it works and it doesn't seem like anything is missing. Like this is a, there's so many different jerseys. There are so many different jerseys that are created that you can look at and say, ah, it's missing this. It might be missing that. It could be missing this. I'm looking at this jersey right now and I don't see a thing missing from it. I wouldn't add anything to it. I would get it just as is and be so goddamn happy. Some of you, I can hear it already. You want blue. You need blue. Blue needs to be in your life for this jersey to make sense. And if that's where you are, that's your opinion, that's your prerogative, I am sorry. But you're not finding that here. But what you are finding is another jersey color to choose from to rock and represent your team. I'm just saying, variety is a good thing. We don't have to poo-poo all of the jersey ideas. We're not going to like everything. I know a lot of the jerseys I showed you today you probably didn't like, and some of them you really, really hated. But you know what? It's okay, because the ones that you hated, I guarantee some other people probably liked, and vice versa. Variety is a good thing. Differences are a good thing. And sometimes, change is a good thing. If you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and leave a comment below, smash that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, Nick fans. Peace.